Hey everyone, I wanna do a quick video update. I did get a comment asking on the map animation inside of iMovie if you could add some sort of plane or car. And I wanna show you how to do that because it's not built into iMovie. It would take an additional couple extra steps to do, but if you're interested in that, let me show you how to do it. So I'm inside of PicMonkey. You could do this inside of Canva. You could look for a Google image search for images that are free to use and modify. But we're looking for a plane in this particular instance. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and add it. This part is not obviously the most important part, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this one. So I'm just gonna add a plane. I'm just gonna look for something here, like super simple. I'm gonna add this and remove the background and then we'll keep on going. Just gonna turn this around because I know it's gonna be headed this direction anyway. I'm gonna export this and then bring it into iMovie. All right, there's my image. Now let me go into iMovie. So if I'm inside of an iMovie project, I'm gonna go over to the titles and backgrounds and transitions area. So we're gonna click on backgrounds. We're gonna look for this one that says blue marble map. You can do this with others too, but this is just the one I'm choosing. Drag it down on my timeline. And then once you see it, it's going to ask you to choose a to and from destination. So in this case, I'm gonna choose Seattle to New York. So as you can see, as you go over this, it is going to create a straight red line from one destination to another endpoint to endpoint. So if you do want to add an additional image, such as a plane in this case, or a car, then you will need to do additional steps. So first thing we have to do is we have to bring in the photo of the plane that we just downloaded from whatever site that you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and add media. Here's my plane. I'm going to drop it down on top of my timeline here. For this to work, what we need to do is go into a, really a picture in picture. So that way we can see that it has a transparent background. Here's our image and we can resize it from here. So I went ahead and oriented it in the direction because it's harder inside of iMovie. If you're inside of Final Cut Pro, you could definitely make it do more loops and spins. Here you're gonna be a little bit more limited, but here's what we're gonna do. So first thing we're gonna do is adding a little bit of a keyframe animation. So a keyframe is going to be little points of movement and basically we're telling it at certain points we want it to hit certain areas. And I think we just wanna take off the fade. It's that dissolve that's happening. So let's not have that. So let's have it appear the whole time. So we're gonna change that to zero seconds. So there, now it doesn't fade in at all, but you can see the red line is still going faster than it is. That is pretty cool how that already works um, pretty well. And it's actually because it's not moving, but the, <laughs> but the background is moving. So it's a neat optical illusion that's happening. We need to make sure that this is exactly where we want it at the beginning of this clip. Make sure we have it. Add the first keyframe, good. Then we're gonna go ahead and play. And we're gonna see that it's a little bit um, off where we want it. So we're gonna drag it back to here so it doesn't get ahead of right there. And we're gonna let it play a little. And then right there, it looks like it's going ahead of it. So we wanna try and keep up with it. We're gonna play a little bit more, it keeps up with it. You can add as many keyframes as you want. Add a little bit more, it's still catching up. Add a little bit more. Now it's gone too far, we wanna bring it back a little bit. It's definitely too far, we wanna make sure it stays in place and ends up here as well. There we go. It, it bounces around a little bit because those last keyframes did make it go backwards and forwards, but obviously you can see the drift. It is much better than it was when we first started. So you could definitely fine tune that as well if you wanted to, but that's what you would do. Go create your image of your PNG or whatever you want it to be. Make sure that you then add the keyframes in as an overlay on top of your globe animation, and then you'll be able to have your plane or your car following that line. Obviously, if you have something that isn't going in a straight line as well, you can go ahead and do more keyframes if you need it to end up going like up and down or different things, like if you were doing a bike trail or if you're doing a car ride, those are all options. You would just need more keyframes to do it. If this video was helpful for you, please drop a like and a subscribe. Would love to see you in another video very soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.